This is one of the most recognizable attributes of German militarism, from the middle of the 19th century to the First World War. Every person at least once paid attention to the fact that, that the Germans had some completely strange craving make protective helmets with spikes or horns, but few people know how they appeared and what they were needed for. The German Pickelhelm helmet has been used in Germany since the middle of the 19th century. It is noteworthy that the Prussian Pickelhelm, which first appeared in 1844, was strikingly similar to the Russian Kurasi helmet. I hope you enjoyed my videos. As you know, I still live in Ukraine with my cat and everything is not so smooth here, but my pet and I believe that everything will be fine. If you want to treat her to delicious cat food, you can find details for donation in the description. It is known for certain that the Emperor of Russia Nicholas I presented a sample such a helmet in 1837 to the Prussian Prince Wilhelm Roman III from that moment until the First World War, and helmets were strictly decorative. In 1915, already in the midst of a world slaughter, the Germans took for the development of a fundamentally new helmet, cheap, reliable, functional, devoid of any decorations. This is how the M16 helmet, also known as Stahlhelm, appeared. One of the distinguishing features of this helmet there were two small horns in the area of the temples. Unlike the previous German helmet, here the horns performed purely utilitarian function. Not a single steel helmet of those years was able to withstand direct hit by a rifle or machine gun caliber bullet. Just as it was not able to reflect all the fragments from shell explosions, in order to increase the effectiveness of the protection of fighters to Stahlhelm additional armor was attached. Special steel plates thick up to 5mm. The armor plates were fixed on the helmets on the same horns with a pair of grooves and a tightening strap. Such a temporary thickening of the helmet was supposed to provide greater head protection in positional trench warfare. However, the pursuit of increasing infantry survivability in this way did not bear fruit. It quickly became clear that in order to save a soldier, it is not enough just to increase the thickness of the helmet. The kinetic energy transmitted by the bullet when it hits the armor plate was so strong that many fighters still got injured incompatible with life. Most often, soldiers died from a broken neck. Thus, the bold innovation of German engineers did not take root, but the horns on the helmet remained. This helmet is one of the most recognizable attributes German militarism in the first half of the 20th century. If you like it, subscribe to our channel.